Amy, um, Amy before we hey before we uh, get talking about the the game itself, um, you know the crowd tonight. It, it's thought to be the biggest women's soccer crowd in the state, maybe the biggest women's sports crowd in the state ever. Um, what does that mean to you? Um, it was so special to play here because of our fan base and because of our community. Um, and I think we got to see that tonight even bigger and better than ever before. Uh, I actually lost my voice tonight because the crowd was so loud. So kudos to them for, for showing up for us and supporting us. I thought the team, the team's energy was better because of them. And it's so great to see Utah showing up for us. Uh, the Royals dominated in, in possession, dominated in shots. A lot of good things to build on. In your opinion, what are the positives to take away, and where would you like to see the team improve? Exactly how you said it. A lot of really good things to build on. Um, our main priorities in possession are to um, have great ball security and to score goals. And so I asked the team of that tonight, and they showed that. Um, unfortunately, missed the mark with, with the final touches, but... We have a long season to build through, and I'm very excited with the foundation that we laid tonight. Go next to Caleb Turner. Hey, man, I believe this was the first time you've been the head coach during during an entire match. Um, what was that experience like? Um, and I guess just with your assistants and with the players, just from like a more technical side, what was that experience like? I'm really pleased with my staff. I have a great um, support staff, technical staff around me. Um, tonight was a team effort amongst the staff, amongst the players. Um, I just sat in the head coach's seat and um, really proud of my group. Like I mentioned, both staff and players. Um, I'm, I'm sad to have lost our opening game this season, um, especially stepping into this new role. I really wanted to show out for Utah and show out for Salt Lake City. Um, but I guess you have to wait till next Friday to see that happen. Uh, Amy, what were your thoughts in regards to your substitutions? Um, like the timing and how your subs played? Yeah, I think we wanted to go for some impact, especially in the in the later minutes of the of the game when we were obviously down 2-0. Um, reckon Mazingo is a, is a game changer, and we thought she was going to be able to do that for us tonight. She made, she went in and made some, some really great impact. Um, Efi as well, Cam Tucker as well. Um, like I said, we just couldn't put the ball over the line. Coach, also looking at a, a large perspective. What, is, what does this mean for, for women in the state or young girls seeing you know, another professional women's soccer team back in the state of Utah tonight? I hope we inspired Salt Lake City. I hope we inspired the, the state of Utah. Um, for me personally, I think there's so much great soccer talent in this state that I've seen firsthand. And um, you can see it by just how many girls showed up in our, in our stands tonight. I know that we are empowering those little girls to hopefully one day join us in this Royals organization and hopefully be a part of this because the NWSL is growing, the, the soccer here in Utah is growing, um, and I can't wait to see where, where this goes. Go to Johnny next. Hey, Amy. What did you think of uh, Allie's performance today in her NWSL de de uh, debut? I have to remember that this is Allie Sentner's, um, Brecken Mazingo's, uh, who else did we have a first time pro debut? Agnes Nyberg, Donna Foderer. We had several players with their very first NWSL game tonight. Um, and just, you know, to have their feet under them is, is, a, is a feat. You know, to have them um, just get those first couple touches for me was, was amazing to watch. I am super supportive of this group stepping out on the field tonight. Allie Sentner did her Allie Sentner things. Um, such a crafty player and created, you know, a lot of 1v1 situations and caused havoc for, for Chicago. I just think we were missing that final piece tonight from her as well as the whole group. Perfect. Thanks, Amy. Uh, Amy, congratulations on your debut as a coach. Uh, probably not the result that you wanted, but uh, I would like to ask you something about the locker room. Uh, after the game, the the crowd was amazing also, even if the team lose. But I saw uh, Dana, uh, I just saw her, that he was mad for the result. Of course. How was that in the locker room? How was the impact of this lose? Because as I saw, many of them were excited for play again 
uh, to, for the comeback of the Royals in Utah. So how do you see the locker room after the game? I told the team that I know that we lost the game, but we can't lose the next piece. And that is the recovery physically after this game and then the bounce back. We can't get too down on ourselves after this result. It's the first game of the season and we have so much more room to grow. As we mentioned earlier, this is a great foundation to build on. Um, my team dominated in possession. We saw so many little sparks of talent from, from different players and, and all over the pitch. Um, but the locker room's gonna be okay and I'm, I'm happy to say that our, our heads will be held high after this game. Do you think that probably the inexperience of these players um, play against you in, during this game, against the team? What do you mean? Um, the, inex the inexperience worked against them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, got it. Sorry. Um, no, I think, I think, you know, this was a f our very first match of 2024 when we are an expansion team with a group of players who have never played together. Um, who some of some of our players in there have never played in front of 20,000 fans. And so, yeah, this was a big moment. And I don't think our lack of, of experience hindered us at all. I just I think we have a few details that we need to work on. And some of that is is just, you know, it, it, what some things that we can solve in training. Amy, um, you mentioned obviously not being able to, to put the ball in the back of the net today. How much of that was maybe like some um, just not enough uh, tentacle. A listener. Yeah, I was, I was going to say how That's much. That's what it came down to. <laughs> um, yeah, credit to Chicago and Alyssa Nair tonight. We were unable to get it past her. And she showed up huge for them and kept them in the game and in moments where we probably should have scored or could have scored. Um, and she denied us, and, and that kept her team in the game. So I think that was the difference maker for Chicago tonight. All right, we'll go to Dan of Resume. Thanks, Dan. Well, that from Equalizer. Amy, two for you today, if that's okay. Um, first game as a coach, how did that compare nerves and excitement-wise to some of the biggest games you've been in as a player? I had so much fun tonight. I know my team didn't get the result I wanted, but um, I was super proud of them. I, having played for this city and knowing what this community um, is like and how much they support us, I was just so excited for my players to, to feel that. I told them before they went out, go win the hearts of 20,000 people in that stand, in, in those stands. Um, and I think they did that tonight. And so I got to obviously be on the sideline for my team and lead them in the best way that I could. I lost my voice at one point because it was just so loud out there. But um, yeah, I, I think I had more fun than, than the result would uh, argue. And you mentioned Nair was great. She made two big saves on Hannah Bedford, who had great chances as a former striker. What's your best advice for Hannah after a game like this? Um, forget quickly and move on. I can't wait to get into training with her this week and tidy up some things because I know that girl was knocking on the door all night. I can only assume that you know next week she'll she'll come out even stronger and better, hungrier. Great, thank you. We'll go to Jenna over Zoom. Hi, Amy. Jenna Tonelli with Equalizer. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on Paige Monahan on her performance tonight, um, the newly minted captain of this new team. Um, just what you saw from her, both in terms of uh, her performance on the pitch, but also her leadership as a captain tonight. Yeah, Paige is always going to bring that leadership piece for us, and that's why she was selected captain this year. Um, I thought that her side of the field was a bit quiet tonight. Didn't see much of her on the ball, but... There are many ways that she can contribute to this team. And like we just mentioned, leadership is a huge one of them. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. All right, we're going to move over to Spanish questions. Carlos? Dos preguntas. Una, um, tengo la impresión de que el equipo cuando mejor jugó tu equipo fue cuando estaba con el marcador en contra. ¿Por qué crees que fue eso? Y la segunda cuestión es que, que el, el la portero del equipo de Chicago sea la protagonista del partido is a um, buena muestra de lo que fue tu equipo, no? Um, in terms of Chicago's keeper, he feels like she had a lot to do with the win today. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, and on the, you know, on the other side of it, we we let two goals go in that probably were a little bit of a breakdown from us. Um, 
credit to Chicago for showing up when they when they could and when they did. And Alyssa Nair specifically kept their, her team in the game. Um, I was uh, I was upset in the moment when it looked or it felt like Chicago scored off the run of play, where we had you know the majority of possession, we were dominating, and kind of off offhand they they went ahead with a with a goal up and. Um, I was still super proud of my team for fighting through. They did not give up all game long. They pushed, you know, beyond the 90 for sure when I felt like Chicago looked tired. But goalkeepers win championships, and Alyssa kind of proved that tonight. La segunda era como en ofensa, cuando estamos jugando ofensa. He feels that when the team played the best is when we're playing offensively. Do you agree with that, and how do you kind of dissect that? You mean like in possession? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the team was, was very good in possession tonight. We saw Chicago open up with a mid-block, low block against us, so it gave us some time to build. Um, I, I thought that they, again, they played well in, in their 18 where their goalkeeper made some good saves. And, um, yeah, there's some details that we need to work on this week um, in terms of, of converting those chances for ourselves. Um, but... I was pleased that we had a lot of the ball tonight. I just I want us to get that ball over the line. Any more questions? All right. Thanks, Amy. Cool. Thank you, Amy. Thank you guys.